Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dr. Jazzman One here. I hope y'all are doing all okay. I sure am. I have been real busy lately. See, I've been uh, doing some online classes. Well, I well I only got one for the summer. I'm taking a summer class. It has no um, it has no time schedule or anything. But I have to make sure that all the assignments that I do are due. On the that was my little nephew uh, screaming. You guys, excuse me for that. <laughs> he loves screaming. Anyways, as I was saying, like, I have time to do a lot of stuff, but some, but most of the time I've been lazy. But, um, I'm trying to get back on track on doing what I love the most and doing more of my hobbies. So, yeah, it's been good. And as you can see, I've got my hair retwisted and I got the sides shaved off a little bit. I might have to get this temp faded, you know what I'm saying? Okay, enough of that. So I've been buying a lot of crazy stuff lately. Well, not this shirt because I bought this probably back in uh, probably January or last year of December. I really don't know. This was this one was from Rude Twenty One. Okay, what I really meant to say was I buy a lot of cool nostalgic stuff. Kind of like kind of like this one. You see this? Yeah, this kind of reminds you of the opening of SpongeBob SquarePants. If y'all haven't seen it yet, y'all probably might want to check it out. I think y'all have to go start on the uh, season one. This is the uh, mini canvas of the pirate. See, look. Ain't that cool? Kind of reminds you of the real thing, don't it? I found this on Hot Topic. And it only cost me like $9. So I will leave a link down in the description below so that you guys can get one of these. Now the first time I tried to get this, let me tell you, when I tried to get this the first time, when I went on to Hot Topic, I discovered they had been show, I mean, sold out. Yeah, some of the stuff that Hot Topic sells, I mean, I mean, most of the stuff that Hot Topic got online or in stores, they sell out pretty quickly. So, you might want to get this while you can. This is pretty awesome. I might hang this on the walls or uh, put it down in the basement on the wall on the basement walls. But once I get the command strips or plainly plainly just use a hammer and nail, I think I'll be good. Okay, have you heard of neck gaiters? They're like the masks that go up to your face. Like this. I bought some. Kinda like this. These are camouflaged neck gaiters. Now you could use this for anything. Like like you could put it like a headband or like a something to keep your neck warm I usually use this for my head and put it on like a bandana or you could just put it like this oh, sorry I got my face covered okay see that I bought like um, probably five of them uh, on Amazon, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can get one of these. I sometimes wear these out when in. I sometimes wear these whenever I go on a run, Walmart run, or shopping run. Alright, guys, you want to see something that's really cool? Check out this jacket. It's a Brett the Hitman heart jacket from Chalkline. And for those of you who don't know what Chalkline is, it's the company that makes amazing designs on on jackets and shorts. Kind of like, kind of like for this one. They do they do a lot of Chalkline stuff for uh, Nickelodeon, WWE, uh, games, sports, you name it. This one was in 20 this one was created in 2016 see this now on the front it has it this is similar to um, Bret Hart's attire from the 90s it has the uh, WWE Legends uh, logo on the front now to me that was pretty awesome but check the back let me stand up and show you See, look at that. 
that's a uh, that's Bret Hart's logo, and that's him right here. I think that is a uh, 1988 version of Bret Hart photo right there. Yeah, this came out in the summer of or winter of 2016, and I've always wanted to get one of these. See, I stumbled upon Chalk Line that year out and, uh, while I was browsing around just doing some research on popular culture and uh, this is what I saw I saw this guy with this with this jacket on he had his uh, hair braided up his eyes faded out he was just sitting there with with the jacket on these are pretty cool they had different ones like the Macho Man the Steve Austin and the Ted DiBiase the only problem was the price that I saw. I think it was probably $56. Well, actually, that was no problem. Uh, be honest, this was pretty great. Uh, they actually managed to find one on eBay for $64. Well, I think that's what how much the jacket was. It, it wasn't 56 My apologies if I got it wrong. But, um, yeah, this was $64 on eBay. I got me an extra large. I'm so glad that I was able to get it. But I'm sure everybody else wanted this jacket. But yeah. I don't wear this out much. I'm hoping one day that I will. So. I ain't going to show out or anything like that. Okay guys. I got another thing for Chalk Line. I won't do a review on it in this video. I probably might review the shorts on Instagram but I'll show you what it looks like see look this is Nickelodeon Guts ain't that cool I love it alright so right now me and my daddy are going to uh, go to Lowe's and get some stuff for the uh, basement and uh yeah, as you can see, I got my beats and I got my mask. Do you have one? Yes, I got my mask. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so we're inside Lowe's and we're trying to get a faucet connector for the uh, basement. And we're trying to find the right one. Okay, so right now we're headed back to the house. We're gonna uh, take all the uh, stuff that we bought and just put it in the basement. Okay, so right now we're having Taco Monday and we have street corn. Mm -hmm. Basically, street corn. Okay, now I wanna show you this. But I'm going to be showing you this for a few minutes so that, uh, you know, well, I'll just privacy. show you. Family yeah, pri fi family privacy. You know what I'm talking about. Check this out. Oh, sorry. This is our new couch. We got some new pillows. These are the only two we got. Alright guys, so I'm heading down to the basement. I want to show you guys what, we, what we've what we got in the basement. Check it out. Check this out. Look at that. This is pretty cool. These are the new chairs that we've got. And check this out. A brand new television. And if I turn right here, look at this. This is our new pool table. Ain't that cool? I've been learning. I've been playing pool a lot lately. Well, I don't know all the basics. I mean, the basics of pool yet. But uh, I'm getting used to it. I'm still learning. 
But check this out. This is so awesome. We got a Pac-Man arcade game. Look at this. Ain't that cool? Hmm. Look at this. I'll show you the sides. <laughs> I about almost fell off that chair. I mean, I about almost fell. I think maybe when I have a chance, I might come down here and play this game. I'm sure you all heard of the new Rugrats reboot on uh, Paramount Plus. I started watching the first episode of uh, of the Rugrats, but here's what happened. Uh, they ended up the episode got messed up. You know, I was watching it on my Fire Stick. It froze at first. But then it went back other part of the episode and and somehow it went back to the menu of where the uh I mean the episode guide of the Ruby of the reboot of the Rugrats. I was like What just happened? I was confused. So I think I'm gonna rewatch the first episode and hopefully it doesn't it doesn't get Frozen again. And, um, has that ever happened to you? You watch an episode, but then it freezes? And it goes back to the episode guide? Comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to end it right, right here. And, uh, I don't think I have anything more to say. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on my YouTube videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And like always, keep it retro. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.